Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are painting a shamrock, so let's do it. Okay, so in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we are doing a very simple, easy, fun, and relaxing um, shamrock. So what you're gonna need for this, you're gonna need a piece of cardstock or paper that we're gonna cut a heart out of. You're gonna need your watercolor paper. I'm using Arches watercolor paper. I have my Winsor Newton Professional watercolors today. You're gonna need a paintbrush. So I have my Princeton Snap um, paintbrush in a size six. I also have a size 12 on hand. You're gonna need a pencil, scissors, an eraser, and your water and your paper towel, and we're ready to go. So get a piece of paper or cardstock that you can cut a heart out of. I always like to fold it in half just so it's symmetrical. that and cut out your heart this is something you can do with your kids too so um if we're all stuck inside for this quarantine that's currently going on um this is something fun and easy that you can do with your kids so cut out your heart like that if you need to help your kids you can and you're just going to use this to trace so we're going to trace our heart onto our watercolor paper one there. You can overlap the bottom a bit. Oops, one there. And one on this side. And you have like a perfect shamrock shape. Okay, and then you can just do a simple little stem like that. And now I'm just going to erase these inner lines. And if you want to, you can even lighten up your sketch, your outside sketch, just so it's not so dark. Like that. Okay, so you have a really light sketch and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paintbrush. I'm actually gonna use my bigger paintbrush and you can take a little bit of green just to see it if it's hard to see the water. Um, very, very light, light wash of green. And you're just gonna go around your shamrock shape and fill the whole thing up with water. So we're gonna be doing a lot of wet in wet for this and this is just a fun technique to do super calming and relaxing and it turns out really pretty so that is what we are going to do for this today so fill it all up with water make sure it's not dripping everywhere with water you don't want too much water i'll show you a way to figure out how to know if you have the right amount of water or not and also to make sure that it is everywhere in the shamrock. And if you're using cheaper paper, just keep in mind that it might um, dry up faster, so you might have to go over it again, because with lower quality paper, it dries a lot faster. So just keep that in mind. It's okay to totally use lower quality, quality paper, but just keep in mind that it dries fast. Okay, so this is a way to check and make sure that you have enough water as well that all um, the areas are covered. You just want to tilt it a bit. Make sure if it's pooling all to one side, you know you have too much water and you can just take your paper towel and, you know, dab it a bit. But you want to see this light sheen. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little shine over the whole area. And that's how you can also tell if you've missed any parts. So I can see I've missed some parts here. And you can also use a light wash if it's easier to see rather than just water. Okay, so I think I have the right amount of water. It's not dripping, it doesn't look dry in places. It's a nice shine. And now we're gonna go in with our green colors. So I'm just gonna be using sap green today. I'm just wetting them up and hooker's green dark. And I might actually even grab some lemon yellow. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your color and you're just gonna start dropping it in. and just letting the watercolor bleed and do its thing. Change up the greens. And 
just watch those colors bleed. So this is so easy to do. You can do this with your kids or your grandkids or nieces or nephews. You can make cards out of these. Okay, and you don't want to add too, too much water where, again, it's going to drip everywhere. So just keep that in mind. You don't want it too, too wet, but just wet enough. Just let the watercolor dance, as I like to call it. There's no wrong way to do this. You can just grab some yellow, throw it in there too if you want. Grab a bit more of the dark green. I like putting it where two of the clovers meet. And then what you can do, which is also fun, is just tilting it to the side and letting it drip. Now there's quite a big pool here, so I'm not gonna tilt it like crazy. I'll tilt it the other way to spread that color a bit. It may drip off your paper, and that's okay if it does too. It's more of like an abstract kind of wash. Like that. But try to change it up so you have light yellow parts and darker green parts. Like that, and then if you really wanna have fun, take some of that color on your brush and just do some fun Green splatter. And there you go. That's it. So you can wait for it to dry and you can write Happy St. Patrick's Day on it, or you can write, I'm lucky to have you. I don't know, whatever you think is appropriate. Definitely do that. But just have some fun, make a bunch of these and just relax and enjoy the beauty of watercolor and the technique of wet on wet. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.